Hi and welcome to part one, I guess, of my uh, Hackaday uh, ultrasonic wind speed and direction sensor from a car reversing kit project. So this is the car reversing kit project, uh, car reversing kit, which you can get on eBay for under 10 English pounds, which I don't know what it is in dollars these days. So let's have a look what you get in the kit. Obviously the fun bit, the most important bit, is the sensors. So you get four of those. Uh, one, two, and three, and four. Now they have got a long cable on them. Uh, it's quite a nice coaxial cable, good for uh, FPV uh, videos, etc. If you wanted to, you know, you've got eight foot of that. And although it's a bit inconvenient, it's probably better to cut it off because it's even more inconvenient to, if you've got eight foot of cable hanging off it. Um, so you know, there is there is the, the issue about uh, chopping these cables down. The next bit is uh, is the monitor. So you've got a little display there. I'm not planning to use that in this project at all, um, but that connects to the serial port on the on the main control box, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is a control box here. I'll get back to that. The, the, the final fun bit in his this thing is a little hole saw for chopping holes for these transducers, which is a nice little addition. Um, the having used one of these, <coughs> excuse me. In uh, on a previous you know iteration, this prototype, there is a problem because they do tend to get bunged up with the, the the wood. The wood sticks in there, and it's very difficult to get it out. So I don't know, probably drill a hole in there or something to get it out. So there's a couple of pads in here as well for the a couple of pads for the, the kind of like spongy double-sided pads, quite useful. Um, power supply, again, you know useful bit of cable so overall you know it's all it's, it's some good stuff in there and uh, useful for other things as well really. so let's move on to the important bit really which is the, the hardest bit to deal with is the the actual um, control board so I'll open that up for you and get rid of that so that's it that's basically it there look. and it's quite compact um, obviously your sockets for the sensors socket for the power supply this is socket for the serial cable and if we turn it round obviously we've got these pulse transformers which provide so there's a 12 volt input these are connected sort of via a small resistance to prevent overcurrent um, to 12 volts and then they're, they're, I think I, I'm guessing they're something like a 10 to 1 step up transformer so you put 12 volts basically you, there's a tr little transistor here which pulls the pulls one in one side of the transformer on and so you're going to get of the order of 120 volts uh, possibly um, 240 volts peak to peak pulse out of it so it's a pretty you know it gives a health, healthy whack of uh, pulse um, to, to you know to, to drive quite a long way because obviously this is not this is meant for a car reversing kit so you know you the, the pulse is, is probably trying to detect things 10 or 15 feet away um so but it's it's all the other thing that you could hack this for is you, you could put four four distance sensors on it you know in fact you could probably nearly use it as is if you uh, if, if you you could um you know find out what the protocol for the serial port is and so on um, so anyway so in this in this project the important bits because we we actually have to and I, I mean if if you're not if you if you're not up to kind of doing a bit of electronics um, removing bits of uh, uh, chips and so on from uh, circuit boards it's probably a bit not quite the project for you however so what we got on here is a, a 4051 this is an analog switch so there's two inputs uh, well, actually, yeah, it's an analog switch. So there's two, two, two. Uh, I can't remember whether there's an X and a Y kind of uh, channel, and the X and the Y channels can can, can each be connected to four uh, channels on the other side by means of a address line. And it is like the, it's actually a it's an analog switch. In other words, an analog voltage, analog current can flow 
uh, either way to the switch but um, basically what you get is you can select an address and that then means that one of these um, one of these transistors you've got access to its uh, base and so you can send a digital signal to the base of the transistor to turn it on and in the other channel the actually output the sensor is available um, and it actually go, comes out and goes on into this circuit which if you look on my Hackaday project you will see um, the actual schematic of, of this circuit um, and so that then comes out and obviously it's condition and then it's got a, it's got like a peak uh, uh, envelope detector here um, which then goes into the microcontroller um, I wasn't that hap I'm, I'm not I, I was I'm more interested in trying to get the actual uh, phase difference so I, I what I've done again you have to look on the Hackaday project is to is to replace this bit of the circuit or just ignore this bit of the circuit and use like a comparator arrangement which one end is set up to detect a, an envelope I right, will go higher when the envelope when the amplitude uh, rises above a certain amount and then the other side will then It'll, it'll go low again when it when it crosses zero so that does work actually and I'll just show you this is one version of the board and I've also done a previous version of this this is the, the one I'm actually currently using and here's my I'm using a quite a fast op amp as my comparator just because that's what I had but and also in this in this circuit you'll see that it's not actually quite the same it's not quite the same board so but I, I as far as I can tell this is pretty much exactly the same um, uh, filter they've got the 4051 and they both as you can see on this one although it might not be that easy to spot under the wires I've removed uh, this this um, little microcontroller which I believe I think that's going to be a PIC12 um, of, of the PIC12 family and you could actually replace that with another pick 12 and um, you know happily program the whole thing without without doing any hacking at all um, but as far as I can see the pick 12 only has um, I think it's 256 bytes of RAM and um, you know it's, it's I mean you can get them up to 32 megahertz so they're, they're quite they're quite useful chips but it's just that 256 byte RAM limit which I didn't want to you know have to be worrying about oh, I'm running out of RAM all the time so I decided this is why basically I decided to pull to break these out. So you, this is the you know this is the um, the challenge with this is, is you've got to break out these these little cables, uh, break out sorry the traces and um, then you know connect. So on the on the first one, what I've done is I've, I've uh, broken it out to this little header here. Um, so. The, the next on the next verse and not on this this board what's interesting is it's got I think that you could fit on here pick 16 c 84 I'm showing my age here I haven't used picks for a long time but probably the modern version of the pick 16 c 84 would actually fit on there as you can see it's got room for for a was that an eight, eight pin a 16 pin microcontroller and you might then well then find you can get a lot more RAM on it and, and and then if you're in if you like the pick and programming a pick that may well be the way to go because then you've got you, you everything's on board you've got uh, your um, serial port which comes out there I think and so on and so forth so um, you know that's, that's that's quite a good way to go for me I, I wanted to do it with an Arduino the classic um, at mega 328 I decided to use so as I say this is this is this one is iteration one just to test the thing works and it does seem to work quite well um, so what I've done is I've broken out two parts of the op amp if you look in here I've got the output of the, op, of the sorry the filter um, I've got the output of the filter there and I've also got the actual ground there's a like a kind of divider voltage divider thing so it's got ground halfway up the supply between the ground and supply so I've broken that out as well and that's one of the inputs the comparator so that's useful for zero uh, detecting uh, zero crossing and obviously the output is useful to, for detecting the amplitude and I'm, ho I'm hoping I mean in this one I've, I've, I've used this comparator here but I'm hoping uh, once I get once I get going to um, so the plan is to somehow get this board on there 
like that. Get my, this is me, me um, the, the Arduino Pro Mini. Great little board, a lot of fun to do. Um, get that on there somehow. Probably, I don't know if I'll put it on headers or, or just stick it straight on. And then just basically wire across, you know, from, from there to there. Um, and that should give you the, the problem with this obviously as, as you get more and more cables you're going to get longer leads and you're going to get um, inductance and spikes and all that I don't think it actually matters on this because the everything separates you put the address on and the pulse goes the, the pulse which is obviously going to cause a lot of noise and so on on the circuit but then you just wait because you're just waiting for the uh, and um, you're waiting for that that pulse to come back and so it's quite quiet then uh, so it's there. There's in, there is there is noise on no doubt, but there it's not actually as critical as you would think. But anyway, it'd be neater if I can get everything in the box here. So what I've got to do is somehow get that, cut that down a bit, <laughs> so that I can get that in there and get the whole. It'd be nice to just get it in the original box if it's possible. Don't know if that's possible. Um, so that is my that's my next challenge. As I say, if you see on the video, you can see this original circuit working. I don't know if you look on look at my um, video feed in, here on YouTube. You should be able to see a, a, a video of this actual the the, the finished thing. Well, the, the prototype um, running with a using a a, um, a fan just to uh, to represent the wind. But as you can see, the the thing does work quite well. So. Um, so now the next stage is to try and tidy this up and make it into a, a more um, compact project so it will fit hopefully in there and also to, to reuse this serial port as well because I've, at the moment I've got a serial port coming out which actually gives the data output from the Arduino here um, so I might as well tie that back to this to this output here so that it's all compact in the box so anyway that um, that concludes this part of the um, video and I hope to do another video when I've actually done this and connected this up and got it working. Okay, bye for now.